Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you guys trying to test the camshaft position sensor on a BMW 1 series, guys. It will apply to multiple engines, gasoline, diesel engines, and even multiple generations BMW 1 series. We will cover everything from start to finish. All the tools and parts that we use, we'll share the links in the description of the video below. That way, if you need to buy a new camshaft position sensor, we'll have that one shared as well, guys. Now, uh, it's not very complicated procedure. Make sure you stay until the end. We want to uh, cover a few things that can cause actually damage to, to your electrical system. So make sure you stay until the end. Uh, before we start, let me tell you one thing, guys. Every single car we get at the shop, we make at least 200 free repair videos. Why we do that? Simply because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. That way we can keep providing this free information. Let me show you what we have. Specifically, we have a, a six-cylinder engine, N52 engine. But even if you have a four-cylinder, the six cylinder gasoline diesel engine and the procedure to test camshaft position sensor will be about the same and we're going to cover that today guys this is the camshaft position sensor you may have up to uh, two of them on a four and six cylinder engine one for the intake camshaft one for the exhaust camshaft so in our case we'll just demonstrate on one of them but the procedure is practically the same for both of them let me guys share something with you this is our main channel how to repair guys we have helped more than 75 million people we have information that can save you thousands of dollars on future car repairs so definitely guys subscribe you'll find information helpful and it will save you money in the long run so uh, usually guys you will have three wires for your camshaft position sensor if you have the same colors as ours things will be the same colors as our wires the the things will be really easy if you have different covers we'll explain what uh, what wire you need to check usually you will have one wire and in most cases we'll be right in the middle will be a ground wire or a black wire okay let me just turn the light and see if it's a little bit better maybe yep this black wire okay right here is uh, the one that we actually uh, need to uh, test this one will be a ground wire negative and then you will have one ignition wire okay one ignition wire which should be reading 12 volts and one wire that should be reading 5 volts guys uh, 5 volts and 12 volts so now uh, how are you going to test that you can unplug actually the sensor and with the voltmeter what you're going to do you're going to set your voltmeter to read in volts 20 volt setting in hours okay and if you touch the black and orange wire when your ignition switch is on that means the lights on the ignition okay when you uh, turn the key to the second position on the ignition or push start button until you see your lights on but without starting the engine guys don't press the gas pedal the the uh, brake pedal if you have the push start button when you see your dash lights that's the ignition being on and if you test the black and the other let's say in our case orange wire we will get a 12 volt reading or close to 12 volts whatever uh, whatever uh, voltage you have in the battery and if we test the black and yellow this is our signal wire which should read 5 volts guys or close to 5 this one will be the signal wire going to the engine computer so uh, we have our spilled a little bit i recommend there is a special tools that you can use actually that way you don't have to cut them open uh, but uh, I'll, I'll put the link in the description of the video below we'll get alligator clips install alligator clip on the pure wire this is the negative and now uh, we're going to do on the 5 volt signal wire make sure you don't touch both of them together because you can short the fuse or you can short guys uh, uh, you can even cause damage to the electrical system so right now we have a reading of about 5 volts now you can see 5 volt reading because this is the signal wire to the ground wire if we attach a metal too close to it our reading should drop to zero because that sensor actually reads on and off five zero five zero so let us show you guys just get a metal tool, a socket get to it zero volts five volts without it zero with the two attached five zero so this is one good working sensor guys uh, hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you trying to figure this thing out if you have any questions let us know thank you for watching and see you guys next time